Hi, this is Darlene DeMarco with Aaron and his gallery, in his art gallery. Hi, well, thank you, Darlene. Welcome to the Murphy Hill Gallery. And this is, uh, this is my area. This is the art of Aaron Benoa. And I reflect a style called assemblage. And in this assemblage art, one of the things I try to incorporate are all kinds of images to tell a story. Now, this is one of my latest pieces here. It's called the Staff of Presence. And the Staff of Presence was created because I wanted something beautiful that people would stop and take a look at. Now, this piece is decorated from front to back and from top to bottom. It, it was very interesting to be able to tie this piece to itself to a point to where it was in balance. Now, if you bring your camera around this way, you can look at the back and you can see how we've decorated it. sales for $2,500 and it is a very beautiful piece to have in the home. Now my art covers a lot of different territory. If you come this way with me, I'll show you my hallway and in the hallway here we have the art of Aaron Benoit in a way that no one's ever seen it before. We have the spirit of silver. Beautiful piece, if I might add. One of my most favorites. And on the opposite wall, we have Atlantis. Atlantis represents the story of the flood with Noah and his arcs and his animals and all flavors. We have Noah warning of the flood, and then we have the animals loading onto the ark, and then we have the ark floating above the, the waters, and we have it coming to rest and the animals departing. We also have the dinosaurs drowning. And this piece is called Zipporah. And it's a piece representing the wife of Moses. She was a Nubian. And I decided to give her her due today. On this side of the wall, we have a piece that people get a little frightened when they see. The name of the piece is, Thank You Ladies and Gentlemen and For My Next Trick. The piece incorporates the angel of death and it incorporates the idea of the Ma'afa in America. What we have is offensive symbols brought together, handguns and children, incarceration rates, and we have a crowd watching the play as it just takes off into the Netherlands. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for my next trick. And then you can do flat air, but it moves like your arm. It does everything that you do with your arm here. Yeah, if you need to put moves on it one more time, you don't even have to put it. You can get wavy. You can get cool. And then if you want to weigh it down, you can weigh it. I groaned and bowed my chin. They been many, but they all been sold. They don't know where I be and I don't know where they be. My face too was Michael and Ned. One morning they run out to see this big horse and sleigh what done come up. My children ain't know, but I know they done been sold. The driver pulled Nancy up and, and Michael think they gonna get a ride. Shove my baby in a box and locked it down. Lord have mercy. Michael run and cry and beg. Me and Rumfrey, we can't do nothing. Not over. All right then. Even more elegant than before. Phenomenal, beautiful, 
soft champagne, cocktail dress, tied ever so gently in the back, revealing just the right amount of skin. Beautiful and pretty and stylish and wonderful. Come on now. Yes, yes, always. If you see one, you might see another. And this one is coming down in black onyx, just like it's been poured over her. And yes, you are working it well. And like I said, everybody can wear this dress. But if you can put your hip in that, you buy it. All right. You're making it look effortless and easy. Yes. Living art down the runway. elegant and it's all about you very simple very classy very beautiful and you are wearing it well it takes a lot of pretty to get up and show an audience like you how to wear fashions by ACA Oasis and Heartgrove but they are doing it and you need to encourage them with every hand clap, every whistle, and every shout out. Because again, you all are working this runway tonight. Diva style, yes. Black, 
How you doing today? This is uh, George Owens of Global City Unity uh, and Felicia Miller, also Global City Unity and the Yachty program. Uh, she'll tell you a little bit about the Yachty program, but what we're out here doing today is we're celebrating Danny Davis's birthday. Uh, we have hundreds of people that uh, plan on attending today. Okay. We're out here helping promote community talent, community-based entrepreneurship programs. Uh, we love our community. We hope that you enjoy our TV shows and everything. And uh, we're trying to help bring jobs into our community for our youth. And Felicia Miller is one of the young people that has spearheaded that through the summer. We hope to uh, God that that continues so I'm gonna let you let her tell you a little bit about her her what she does in the community and who she serves well okay um, I serve youth from anywhere from 10 to 30 years old um, through Black Wall Street Yeti program uh, we have entrepreneur programs going on we invite the youth to come in uh, make a business plan up help them with proposals um, funding and things like that we're also working with the youth uh, with performing arts component as well uh, youth can come in and showcase their talent gain a fan base um, gain some knowledge about about higher education, health, and a good way to come in and network with the other youth that are in their neighborhood and out of their neighborhood to gain network of possibilities through them as well. And we're also working uh, with the Hope Center as well. Um, we have Sage and Sage's sisters advocating for justice and empowerment and we also have Y power, youth power. So we're out here and we're out here advocating for the youth and young adults, not only um, for their equal rights and equality, but we're also advocating for jobs, uh, job empowerment, community empowerment, and just to have a piece of life so they can grow up happy, healthy, and have children and live their American dream too. So that's what we're about. Back to you, George. Yeah. We also have another one of the young gentlemen out here, uh, Perry Smith. He's a president of Morale Builders. Okay. We want to bring him and let him get a little bit of uh, camera footage real quick. I'm going to try to get him to come up here and be in the front uh, spotlight. So I'm out here trying to help promote our youth and uh, be empower everybody. So we're going to have a great day out here. You're going to see a lot of great entertainment. We're going to uh, we're going to come into your TV and we're going to try to let the Lord bless each and every one of us through what we do as a whole and as a community. So 
We're here today and we're constantly promoting unity, global city unity. That's everybody as one trying to teach one and uh, help each other uh, show our unity. All right, this is one of the brothers that I've uh, known for some time, some years now. Uh, he's president of Morale Builders. We work together on putting together community-based programs and helping our youth. We work with Felicia Miller as well as other organizations that's out there. If you would like to be a part of the programs that we help submit, you can give us a call at the TV station and the number that will probably be in front of your screen. And uh, we'll be glad to help service you and try to permit, uh, uh, put you in one of the programs that will best suit you. So I'm going to no longer uh, further uh, let my buddy and, and partner here. Uh, Mr. Smith, give you a little bit about what he does and how he tries to help empower the community. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Perry Smith. I'm president and chairman of Morale Builders Incorporated. We're a nonprofit 501c3 tax exempt community organization. We want to empower the community in seven component areas where they could, the people could look at their community and bring their proposals to us and we'll go over it, yay and nay it, and see if we could get grants for your ideas. Uh, we want to empower everybody in every community. We got jobs. I'm looking for 300 account representatives. We advertise businesses in the community. We put them in our publication and post them up on our website. And the business, if you'll give our cardholders a 10% discount, we'll advertise your business for Hold You in Color on our publication and we'll post you up on our website, which we got hyperlink where you click on that hyperlink and it go to your video like this, showing what your store look like. Uh, showing what your restaurant look like, uh, cooking the food, the uh, hair designers, cutting the hair and everything. So we out here for you. Use our corporation to do video, to do shows. Show us, show the world what's going on in your community. Call the number on your screen where you can get Perry, Morale Builders Incorporated, work with Felicia um, in family with Danny Davis and George, um, Global City Unity. So stay tuned for our next show. Thank you. How you doing? This is George Owens of Global City Unity. We're out here at Danny Davis's birthday celebration. We're also remembering the 9-11, okay? And we're out here at a community event. We're talking to some positive role models that we have out here today. And we're just enjoying ourselves. We're eating. We're having a, a great time unifying and trying to unify our community. We have people from the Latino community, we have people from the Hispanic community, we have people from the Chinese community, the Asian community, and we also have a few role models we want to uh, introduce you to today. Right here we have Murphy Hill of the Murphy Hill Gallery. He's done a lot of positive things in our community. We want to get a chance to let him introduce himself and tell you some of the things he's doing now, and we appreciate him being here on this beautiful day. All right, thank you, George. Uh, for, my name is Ralph Murphy, formerly uh, director of the Murphy Hill Gallery, which was located right here in the in the beautiful uh, Holman Square building. Uh, and we're currently looking for a spot. But anyway, what we're doing now, we're enjoying uh, Danny Davis's birthday celebration and also commemoration of the 9/11 victims and and also for our country. So we just uh, thank God for the opportunity to be around, to do some things and make some changes. Uh, also, we're looking to change some of the economic development in the community with the uh, current deregulation of uh, Commonwealth Edison. And I represent, I'm an uh, executive associate for Viridian Energy. And we're gonna be going through the community, getting people educated on that particular opportunity on how to save money and also how to create some economic development in the community. So I want to thank uh, Global City Models for allowing me this opportunity. Thank you, George. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Appreciate it. Our children are the future. The songwriter says teach them well and let them lead the way. Everybody is searching for a hero. Everybody, though, can be their own hero because everybody can learn what it means to not only be themselves, but how they can make the best use of themselves to help make the world a better place in which to live. So we admonish our young people to know that if they are trained in the way that they need to go, 
that they can continue that and they don't have to depart from what their parents, their teachers, their ministers and leaders who have their best interest at heart are trying to get them to do. So young people are the future of our world. How you doing today? We're out here with Global City Unity and we're out here with the Alderman Chandler, Michael Chandler. And uh, this is a blessed day for everybody. We're out here celebrating the birthday. We're out here uh, remembering 9-11, how uh, special that was to us. And this is a great Alderman of this ward out here. And we want the Alderman to tell us a little bit about what he's doing in the community, how he helps each other, how he helps the youth, and how important it is for us to stick together and have unity in our community. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me here. It's great to be here in 24th Ward at Congressman Danny K. Davis's birthday. This is an annual event that he has here in the ward every year. And it's also Garfield Major's birthday as well. So they both have a party together here in the 24th Ward. It's great to be working with Congressman Danny K. Davis. We work together to get the community engaged in the process. It's not about what plans that I have for the community. It's about the plans that what the people have, what we have. We talk about how we got to work together to bring about positive change. No one person can do that. We have to work together. Whether it's housing issues, whether it's our, our youth to stop the violence, we got to work together. These are our, our children out here. And so I'm looking forward to working with Congressman Davis in the future and Garfield Major. How you doing? We're out here once again with Global City Unity. We're out here celebrating uh, Danny Davis's birthday. We're also remembering 9-11. We're out here at a community forum, and we're just enjoying ourselves, having a great time. And we're talking to some of the community leaders and role models in our community. Right here we have one of the role models. I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell you a little bit about what he does. And hope you appreciate it and enjoy this uh, telecast. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Miguel Torres, President of the Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce of Illinois. We're so proud to be a part of this celebration today honoring uh, Congressman Danny Davis Jr. for all the years and work that he supported our community. As minorities, we have to stick together and support one another, be it north side, south side, west side, or east side. We are one community. In Spanish, we say, somos un solo pueblo. So I'm so glad to be here representing the Puerto Rican community and the Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. You're here with Global City Unity. Once again, we're out here at the Hands of Hope for You Food Drive. They're going to be giving away tons of food today. Uh, we're really appreciative that we can cover some of these events that they have uh, throughout the year. You're going to see a lot of footage with us uh, helping out people that are in need, uh, people that's uh, looking for Jesus, and uh, they do it through food. And that's one thing that we uh, love to see that uh, our community working together uh, as a team uh, to give back to the community. And one way we could do that is through our food drives uh, right here with Hands of Hope for You. Uh, Global City Unity is uh, helping promote some of the uh, telecasts and the, uh, food drives that they do throughout the year. I hope you appreciate some of these programs. And if you can, please support them. Uh, they're at Hands of Hope for You. Dot com. Uh, you can catch them on YouTube, Hands of Hope for You. And uh, we just hope God just constantly blesses them and everything they do. So God bless Woody uh, and Linda. Thank you for what you're doing for the community. Uh, we'll be right back and we'll be seeing some of these individuals uh, receive food today. I appreciate uh, you watching the programs. If you want to and want to be a part of our programs, uh, just call Global City Unity or reach us at uh, globalcityunity.com. Our phone number is 773-531-1182. You'll see it at the bottom of the screen periodically through some of these telecasts. Uh, if you're in an entertainer, if you're a fashion designer, if you're in the uh, business of helping promote and revitalize our communities, uh, give us a call because you're the missing link in helping us rebuild our communities one neighborhood at a time. Thank you and stay tuned. All right.